Hello. My name's Tragic O'Hara, and today I've just literally just finished this. This is a commission for someone. Yeah, and I've painted guitars before. Like this guitar. I've painted I painted this guitar before. But I think it was like the third, the third video I ever made. And I didn't speak in it. I was trying to be clever and I just kinda made it kinda point of view type of thing. I don't know. I, I was trying to be too clever. Anyway, this time what I thought I'd do is I've got another guitar to paint for Guitar 5 3. Um, and they said just do whatever. As long as it's got a 5 and a 3 on it, I'm quite happy. So I am. I am going to do whatever. So I stripped it all down, took all the bits out of it, took all the machine heads and stuff, um, the bridge. I sanded it down, gave it a proper sand. I know, I know, using using power tools again, eh? You know what I mean? It's amazing what, um, what using a saw will do for you. And I'm going to, I'm going to mask it up now uh, and start painting it. I'm still learning to paint guitars. They kind of freak me out a wee bit because like, so, so Doom, that, that hopefully that will just go on someone's wall and it will never get touched like it will just sit there whereas a guitar you're taking it out and you're using it and you're playing it and it's getting moved about and stuff so it kind of worries me a wee bit about like one day if someone just opens up their bag and it's it's like the paints evaporated like it's just disappeared i'm still trying to figure it out but i'm getting better at it i'm getting better at it so i thought i'd make a video about what i've learned so far like this guitar's not really about functionality like it's not about playing it every day it's going to be used for different stuff so i'm going to paint the whole thing the neck and the rest of the body and stuff and where is the other guitar well it needs to be played i don't want to touch the neck and stuff so that was completely masked off like every single bit of that apart from the bit i was painting was completely masked now this is how i paint guitars there's probably people out there who paint guitars all the time and say oh you should only use this and you should only use this sort of stuff like but this is how i paint them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab some spray paint uh, and i'm just going to cover the whole thing spray paint some stuff i don't really i've got a rough idea what i'm doing with this one but i want to get it covered first so like it's flat again Right, I know what I'm going to do now. So, drawn round the guitar. I'm going to get like a five and a three, draw around it and make a couple of stencils. I'm going to paint the whole guitar blue. And it came to me this morning. My youngest, uh, Robert, was singing Octopussy's Garden in the, in the house. My original idea was to do it so it was like all famous band logos and stuff. Kind of like that thing I'd done uh, in a place in the music room back, uh, what, what was, oh, man, was that a year ago? That was a year ago, oh man. So like, like the Nirvana logo and the yellow submarine and stuff like that. But, sorry. But what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint an octopus on it. Because I like, I love an octopus. They're like the most alien thing on this planet. So what I'm going to do is, there is truth to that, I think there's like a science behind it. Put an octopus on it, but in an octopus's garden. But have the colours changing in the five and the three but holding the yellow submarine. I've got an airbrush through there that I bought a while ago. I used a couple of times, realized it was solid. <laughs> like it was so much harder than it looks on the internet. It's a bit like darts. Only when you watch darts or snooker, um, it looks dead easy. And then when you actually get to a snooker table, you're like, this is this is like a, this is like a football pitch, it's massive. So I'm gonna kind of force myself to use the airbrush and cut stencils and stuff and line it all and, and make it. I'm not going to design it beforehand. Like I'm not going to design it and like procreate and transfer it and stuff. I'm just going to draw straight onto it and kind of work with what's there um, and maybe make like bubbles and different things like that and have the tentacles wrapping around the whole guitar. But I have the yellow submarine in there somewhere. I'm just going to use the screen on my computer and cut it out. Don't need a light to it. A TV screen or some description. Now, sometimes I get overexcited and I don't think things through. Well, that's what happened there. Like, I cut a straight line right across there. But, bit of masking tape. You know what I mean? It's the guitar I'm selling, not the stencil. So I cut a bit of the stencil, so I cut these um, the shapes apart to compensate for the bridge and stuff and I'm just weighing them down with some bottles of calligraphy ink. I would have used a white pencil 
but I've no idea where it is. I've got one, but it's somewhere. It can be anywhere. So I'm going to set up this airbrush and I'm going to give it a go. I'm just going to block out some of the octopus. Just a straight colour, no mixing. Like if I mix the colour and then I need to go back over it, I won't have enough. But if I find, I think I've got one of these, but in purple, one of the Montana acrylic things. Try and block some of this out and see what happens. Um, there's no time like the present to learn stuff, is there? So. As you can see, I don't have a clue what I'm doing with the airbrush. Like, there's probably people out there who know how to use an airbrush that's going, what is this hairy guy doing with that thing? No got a clue. That's why I've been putting off using it, because I've no got a... I just... But, I think sometimes the best way to learn things is just by doing it and seeing what happens. So, I'm just filling it in red and I'll tidy up later. Like, I'm just having a go. What's the worst that can happen? I ruined the guitar and... I need to go buy a new one and start all over again. the time when I'm painting in the studio. of a generation. That's it painted, okay? So I've painted what I want on it. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna try and use the airbrush to make like little bubbles. So what I've done is I've got like a couple of wee, these things uh, are what come on the top of your Montana cans to stop it going off in transit. And uh, one of the cat protector things, right? And I thought I'd use that as a wee, as a stencil to do like a light airbrush through and then use a brush to add like a bit more definition. I'll get quite a lot of overspray, right? So what I've done is I've just got some scrap bits of card and taped it through, like cut a hole and taped that over the top of it. So it's a perfect circle, but it'll save it from getting all like overspray over the place. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but hopefully it'll work. That's one of the plastic things. I just kind of cut, cut the top off. I was going to use this, but I've got a feeling I need this. I don't know what it's off, but I've got a feeling if I start painting through that, I will, I will regret it one day. So I'm not going to do that. I've got these. One of the other things is, I put my acrylics, I only started doing this recently, like putting them into these wee, I think they were makeup tubs or something, I don't know, I got them off eBay I think. But I put my inks in that and I mix stuff in it and it, it, they are honestly the best thing I've bought in ages. Because I just put the lid back over the top of it and then the paint's always there, it's always dry. Because these paints, are these are expensive, like these aren't cheap and you don't, it doesn't look like much but they have, it's lasted really well. Like I thought I'd have breezed through more of this but Especially with the airbrush, it seems to be you get a, a more of an even coat. I'm gonna try these wee bubbles and then and put them over the bits that maybe I don't think are the cleanest or bits that I think something's missing. And then I think that's pretty much it. It's only lacquering and then putting the whole thing back together. So. <laughs> So that's it, that's the bubbles done. And I'm quite happy with it. I think that's, like, I, I think that turned out looking pretty cool. Like, it's different. Like, I've never seen 
Ain't like that before, but it's an octopus's gar. It's the octopus's garden guitar. It's the octopus's garden guitar. All that's left to do is lacquer it. So I'm going to open the double doors, lacquer it, give it maybe two or three coats. The only thing is, usually I'm only painting the front surface of the guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lacquer it, let it dry, lacquer it, um, and then flip it and lacquer the whole back. I just I just use any sort of lacquer. So let me just stop right there. Like that is terrible advice. That is terrible. Right, and I only know it's terrible because that was a lot more. That was a lot more difficult than I thought. Terrible advice. I obviously don't have a clue what I'm doing. As I said, I'm still learning how to paint guitars. Now the the lacquer thing. I started spraying the lacquer on, and the paint started to like run. <laughs> right now, that's never happened to me before. Never. I don't know if it's something to do with the cold. I don't know if it's the type of paint I'm using. I don't know if it's an airbrush. I have no idea. I'm going to need to science it to try and figure it out, right? When I painted, when I painted that in the in the garage, it was just as cold in the garage as it was as in here. So I'm not sure if it's the cold. The only thing that's different is I used an airbrush. That's it. I used acrylic paint on that and, and spray paint. And because I'm using the airbrush, I, I genuinely don't know if the lacquer's too. I I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I managed to save it and I saved it. Because I noticed it really quick uh, and I kind of heat gunned it up just to kind of take the edge off it so it would drip and then I went back in and fixed it and then I, I used another a varnish, like another kind of uh, varnish that I've used before on other stuff and it's been fine but I went really really soft and really like took my time on it and stuff like that to, to make sure. So I need to figure that out, I need to spend a bit of time trying to figure it out. Or if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments like if there's a something I could be doing wrong with this because I'm kind of flummoxed, I'm not sure what it is I'm doing wrong. So, so yeah, I mean, I've so, it's a, the guitar's away now, like it's so... <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can get me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Mr. Tragic O'Hara. Uh, and next time, I don't know. Don't it's know.